So what I'm saying is, in a nutshell, is that I'm urging you to create your own spiritual beliefs. I'm urging you to create your own observances around significant events in your own life. So even the solstices and the equinox are very significant spaces and times according to the geometric position of the earth. But this doesn't mean that you have to go adapt some, you know, Easter egg bunny and this all this weird stuff that these people have cooked up to keep you off of your real consciousness and keep you sunk in the illusionary game. That's what it's really doing. And it's so clear. I see so many people every day. You can't see it, first of all, until you get out of it. But once you get out of it, then you start seeing that it's affecting billions, seven, six billion, six and a half billion people are infected by the ritualistic observances of a culture that has dominated this particular matrix over a countless period of time to a point where it's embedded in the person's consciousness. So when it's time to create something new, when it's time to do something new, when it's time to believe even that you're a cosmos, those things come into question because the last program says you are not. It's a concept of one. Let me show you how just in etymology and in symbolism that one wants to really be zero. There's no actually real numbers one. And this is another massive revelation. But think about it. Okay, so you got one. Where is there one of anything? There's not one tree. There's not one human. There's not one dog. There's not one of anything. Okay. Zero is the real one. And the zero means the totality, wholeness, connection. But see, this kind of concept, this kind of bleeding into the reality as a code, one is the king. The king is the only one that says, I'm the only one, I'm higher than everyone, no one's like me, blah, 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 blah. That's a program. And the reason why you know one wants to be zero is how does how is one spelled? O-N-E. The first letter is an O, which is a zero. So it shows you, but these kind of codes, this is how... When you get into the mainframe, you find that what controls the human mind, what controls the human consciousness is totally different than what people think because they're still thinking in English. And until you pull out of that program, that that fermenting uh, 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 Petri dish of the culture of the English Gothic God system, then you cannot even interpret any of this. It's always going back to that to see the world. Like, I'm going to see the world through the Bible. I'm going to see the world through the eyes of this God. Rather than see the world through yourself, you are the world. See, and that's the leap. That's the quantum leap. Because when you talk to people like that, they start, man, they can't, it's like getting off on an island for them because they can't see where the new island is. They can't see where the path goes. So they rather not travel. They scared. Well, mass is going to get mad. If we leave, Master's going to kill us. Somebody emailed me the other day and they were like, man, Jehovah's definitely mad at you. And I said, man, Jehovah's always mad. Have you read the profile of this program? The program is burning with fire and has no feminine water side. So, of course, it's going to be mad. What are you talking about? But it's just that whole, well, I'm afraid of it. But I, see, what I would be afraid of more is losing my soul. And that's why this is called Soul Wars, Episode 7, because this is a war for the soul, but it's made to seem like a game. This is why Star Wars comes out. It's all games. It's like, you know, Boba Fett and, you know, the same old characters. And it's all a game. They make the biggest video game. Now they're going to go on a virtual reality video game. Chewbacca's out there. You know, they're taking pictures with Chewbacca. You know, they might as well roll him, Chewbacca in with, with, with Santa Claus and all these other characters in this culture of folklore that's luring you away from who you really are and that's what's really going on and the moment that the mind realizes that then a program kicks in and tries to fight it that program kicks in well no come on this is harmless i love this and what i'm saying is is that this doesn't mean that you have to go get fanatical about it i'm just saying knowing is really half the battle and if you don't put this stuff in its proper place then it will take over you it has taken over the collective consciousness field you will find more people lined up for star wars than you'll ever see them lined up to benefit themselves and to project their consciousness into a whole nother mainframe beside this whack matrix but Every time you start talking about that, now you're, yeah, you're the Scrooge. This is what I say. You start talking about Santa, the, you're the Scrooge. The Scrooge program kicks in. People kick in. They say, well, I get it all the time. I face more adversity in this particular process of awakening for myself and others than I probably would face if I was a gangbanger. 
because at least then you got a group of people that's actually really with you versus this. You got these so-called conscious people who are really MK Ultra program. And the moment that you get them into your fold is the moment that they trade on you and turn on you like night and day. There's no honor. And it's because of the same path and the same process being followed. But something new has arrived. We're not devoid of creating something new. We are creators. And they say, well, there's nothing new under the sun. Well, go beyond the sun then. So when we come forward, because we're about one minute from the break, we're going to talk about the true identification behind these characters and programs, exactly how to understand their position so you can deactivate them. And then you're going to start to begin to see where your creativity is since they're shut off. When you shut off that frequency, that's now when you can begin to broadcast. Because that's what's happening. If, if there's this static going on, and this, this static meaning something that's fixed and solid and right there, this static going on, you can't concentrate on yourself. And so this is how you plot the new course for yourself. This is how you get over 4K resolution within your own consciousness so you really do what you say you're going to do and really be who you're here to be and really accomplish what you set out to accomplish rather than it coming back null and void let not your words or your worlds be null and void <laughs>